Hey, what's up? What's up, peeps? I'm Harkon Ashala. I'm an author, an investor, a serial entrepreneur, and a high-income wealth consultant, mainly with pro athletes and actors and a few celebrities and what have you. Um, I apologize. I didn't have time to pull out my convertible BMW and line it up next to my luxury SUV out on the, in front of the ocean right on South Beach uh, to get your attention. But um, I'm not going to sell you anything in this video anyway. Okay, so you can just relax. What should get your attention is this morning on Facebook, I read a real short, simple story. And the reason you should care is because there's a moral in this story. Um, and if you don't get this moral, then you have probably a 99% chance that you're going to live the rest of your life broke, struggling, um, miserable, and frustrated with money problems, not having enough money, being in debt, bill collectors calling, et cetera, et cetera. And the only reason I said not 100% is because there is a, well, there's less than a 1% chance, but I'll give you a 1% chance that you could win the lottery and then you'd have maybe four or five years before you'd be back in the same uh, situation of struggling with money again. And you can look that up. Those are statistics. And there's a good reason for that. But let me give you this. Let me let me tell you the story. It's real short. So this morning on Facebook, uh, I read a post my sister made. And she said she went to, she lives in Jersey. She's an attorney in Jersey. Um, she went to a seminar, in a free seminar in Philadelphia. And it was called uh, Stock Market for Beginners. The Stock Market for Beginners. And she was saying it was one of the best seminars she ever went to. It was so informative. And she said, unfortunately, she was the only person that showed up. She was the only person. Okay. She lives in Jersey. It was held in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is like what the sixth or seventh largest city. It's in the top 10, one of the largest cities in the United States. She's the only person that showed up. And uh, she was saying, I don't want to preach. She's like, I don't mean to preach, but you know, I hope that she, I hope that, you know, we can learn to put as much attention on things like this, important things, dealing with money, uh, as we can expending the effort to run home and watch Empire. And of course, on her uh, Facebook timeline, there's, you know, hundreds of people or whatever who are like, yes, amen, you're absolutely right, tell the truth, da 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 da, right? And, you know, the first thing I thought was like, that's great, my little sister is is going to learn about finance. It's one of the most important things you can learn. But I also was, I also kind of chuckled to myself because I was thinking, yes, that would be great. It'd be wonderful that if that happened, but it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Not for the masses. And the reason why is what's the real critical piece of knowledge you need to get out of this story. Okay. Um, the way the human brain works, okay, the way human beings are put together, there's two parts of our brain, okay? Um, I would usually pull out a whiteboard and write all this down for you, but like I said, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing this kind of on the fly because this is so important. They're, they're basically, our, our mind is broken into two sections, at least two sections. Some people would argue more if you're into Freud, but a lot of that's been disproven. Anyway, um, so you have an, un, uh, an, an unconscious or subconscious and then you have the conscious mind. The conscious mind is the one that we control. And the subconscious, which is the more powerful, is the one that we can't control. And it actually controls us. Now, the reason this is important is because your conscious mind, think, think of them this, this way. There's a good, uh, a, a good illustration for you. Think of your subconscious mind like a big, huge, powerful elephant. Okay? And your conscious mind the part that you control is the rider on top of the elephant, right? Okay, so the rider may think that they have control, but that elephant is far more powerful. The elephant's doing all the work, right? The elephant, if it decides to take off galloping, the rider can't do anything about it. You could pull on the reins or whatever, but once that elephant decides it's going someplace or going to do something, seeking food or what have you, it's not a whole lot you can do. Now, the rider part of your mind is the part that uses logic and reason and rationality, right? So the, the writer part of your mind might say, hey, I'm struggling with money. I need to go to this seminar to find out about 
money, right? How to make more of it, how to keep more of it, etc., etc. But here's the problem human beings have. The elephant, um, the elephant deals only in very basic kind of primal desires. Your subconscious is only really concerned with basic primal desires and those desires are specifically um, rooted in the now, right now, the present. So when you say, hey, I shouldn't eat that 4,000 calorie ice cream Sunday, it's bad for me, it'll, you know, it'll cause me to get fat, um, it'll make me have diabetes, high blood pressure, all that stuff, right? Your conscious mind says that. So, but if somebody sits the damn thing down in front of you, why are you likely to eat it? It's because the elephant says, yes, sugar, salt, fat, mmm, okay? It's designed to do that. It, 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 it literally um, focuses in on your basic desires and your drives, and it has a powerful, powerful pull. It's more powerful than the rider. Does that make sense? That's why people do shit they shouldn't do all the time. Shit that's not good for them, right? That's why we do it all the time. Now, so the rider may know I need to go find out about the stock market or I need to go find out about managing my money or how to make more money or how to start a business, whatever it is, right? How to get out of debt. The elephant is the part of your mind and it's the more powerful part and that's the part that wants to see empire. It wants to be titillated by the drama and the comedy, etc. All the things that are in empire. That emotional roller coaster, you, the elephant loves it. All right. So human beings are kind of screwed if you're dependent on trying to overwhelm the elephant with willpower. OK, um, but what you can do is you can trick the elephant. OK, you can trick the elephant and you can train the elephant in to some degree okay to some degree basically when you're training the elephant you're kind of tricking it you've seen elephants right an elephant you've seen the elephant that's like in a circus and they have it you know up on a ball you know putting its foot on a ball i mean can you imagine being an elephant you got this dumbass human in front of you like put your foot on a ball and they throw you some food peanuts for that that's crazy right the elephant's probably like okay dumbass if you think this is a big deal fine i'll put my damn foot on the ball give me the peanuts but anyway You've seen elephants. Now, that elephant could charge right out of the ring, right through the, uh, the stands where the, the uh, people watching are at, right? And right through the wall to freedom if it wanted to. Why doesn't it? Well, it's been trained. You can train it. And, and a better way to say training is you can create habits. And this, by the way, is how you can gain some control and be able to guide your elephant. You trick it by creating habits, okay? Habits of thought, habits of action. This is really important stuff. So I know it's taken a little while, but just bear with me, okay? If you want to never have money problems again, okay? You have to adopt the habits of thought and the habits of action of people who don't have money problems. It's that simple. Most of us, okay? Most people, the reason that we struggle with money. We do things that don't make sense with money. It's not just because we don't know what to do. Okay, because here's reality. If I told you what to do, and I know this for a fact because I've done it with many, many people, I can tell you what to do. You still probably won't do it. Why? Because the things you need to do in order to become wealthy, in order to be financially free, in order to not have money problems, those things go against your natural desires, the natural desires of the elephant, right? You have to do some things you don't necessarily want to do. The only way you can do that consistently is to create habits, to create habits. It's the only way around it. So the people who would show up at the seminar that my sister uh, was talking about, the people who would show up would be there because of one of two things. And this is something you need to know, too. This is really important. So let me get this out. The elephant, the subconscious part of your mind the two strongest primal drives really that it has are the, it's called the reward and punishment uh, cognitive bias. Point is, it seeks pleasure, it avoids pain. Now of the two, 
Which do you think is strongest? The desire to avoid pain is the strongest by far, by five to ten times. So, you know who would show up at the seminar? Um, how to, you know, the stock market for beginners seminar or a seminar about money. People who are facing some kind of major fucking loss. Okay, people who are in serious trouble and they're facing an immediate loss in the present. So it's going to be something painful. My house, I might lose my house. They might repossess my car. My child needs a life-saving, uh, my child needs a life-saving operation and I don't have the $8,000, uh, uh, what do they call it, D uh, deductible or whatever to pay in order for them to have it. Okay, that type of pain would motivate a person. It would override the desire for pleasure, which would be to go watch Empire, and it would send that person to a seminar or a training what, somewhere, right, to learn how do I get this money. Okay, that's the key. And what you can do is you can, like I said, that's how you trick the elephant and you, and you build habits that will then take you where you want to go. So... This is, it, this really, it's interesting. It kind of dovetails with something that I've been working on for two years. I'm actually, uh, because of this, reading this story today, I'm going to do something I wasn't going to do. For two years I've been working on, and I'm, and I'm literally days away from launching, uh, I think, one of my magnum opuses, one of the reasons I was put on this planet, which is called the two-month money makeover. Now, that's, that costs money. It's not going to be for everybody, even though, I'm, even though what I'm charging for it is, is probably 10 to 15 times less than I should be and it's 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 inexpensive enough that anybody can get it okay but it won't be for everybody it won't be for everybody but what I am going to do that will be for everybody and it's going to be free is next week with July 4th coming up I'm going to launch what I'm calling money problem independence week so you guys are going to celebrate Independence Day and go out and drink and have fun and what have you on the 4th, which is Monday. OK, the rest of that week, starting Tuesday, July 5th, I'm going to kick off Money Problem Independence Week. OK, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a series. I'm going to literally hold a series of live, live video seminars. OK, just like you're seeing me now, I'll be live and I'm going to go over the things the, ma the most important, most basic things that anybody needs to know about money that can help you make sure that you're not struggling financially for the rest of your life, okay? I'm going to hold those for free, and they're going to be online live videos. That means you won't have to go anywhere, right? You won't have to leave your house, get in your car, spend money doing that, because that's another reason you know, people don't show up where they're supposed to show up or they think I should do that, but eh, I don't feel like doing this and the other getting out. So that's another reason people didn't show up to my sister's seminar. Well, you won't have to go anywhere to get these, okay? This will be live online. You can watch them on your laptop, your tablet, your, your smartphone, your computer. Watch them at work, watch them on lunch or what have you. I'll probably do them around lunchtime. And uh, I'm gonna go over things like how to get out of debt, uh, even better, how to use debt to become wealthy. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to go over um, your 401k and how it's robbing you blind. A lot of people don't know that. So you talk about the stock market. We're going to talk about that too. But most importantly, your 401k is robbing you blind. People don't know this. But I'm going to talk about why that happens, how it happens, and what you should probably look at doing instead. We're going to talk about how to budget. We're going to talk about all the things, you know, so you don't have bill collectors calling. You don't uh, spend money you shouldn't have you shouldn't spend um, we're going to talk about all the really key things that people struggle with with money okay I'm going to do it for the whole week it's going to be live and again it's free all you have to do is show up so in order to get on the list because there'll be uh, this is going out to this is going out to more than 40,000 people and that's just on my personal list it's going out across the world so there will be more people who will show up to watch than the system will be able to hold. So what you need to do is to, below this video, I'm gonna put a link, a uh, little box where you put in your email address, okay? Slide your name, I don't know if, I might ask for your name, I don't know. But put in your email address where I can send the link each day that you click on to watch these videos live. And I might even try to put up a replay in case you missed some of it. 
All right, um, I'll leave the replay up maybe for on a 30 minute delay. So if you get there late or whatever, uh, you will be able to go back and watch it. Anyway, you need to make sure that you're signed up so that I can send those links to you. And I would also recommend that you be linked up to my uh, all my social media properties so you can get more stuff like this. Most importantly, though, put your uh, email address in below. Click the button uh, so that I can send, make sure it's the one you check so that I can send you the link. Uh, because this stuff's going to change your life. And I'm going to bring it to you in ways that you'll be able to implement it. You're going to learn how to create the right habits, to create habits that allow you to not have money problems. So again, have fun on Monday on Independence Day, eat, drink, and be merry. And then for the rest of that week, it's gonna be Money Problem Independence Week, live and free. So when I say live, yes, I'll be live, which means you'll be able to ask questions and I'll answer them, okay? So I highly recommend you take advantage of this. I'll be coming back to you to give you uh, uh, reminders on my various social media properties because I know people you know people need reminders again this is not uh, the sexy fun stuff this is stuff that makes your life sexy and fun if you know if you learn it okay and you implement it so thank you see to my little sister for posting that on Facebook and giving me this idea to be able to reach out and help a bunch of people like I said I'm not gonna make any money off of it but that's not what this is about for me okay I'll sell stuff later. I have two other businesses that are making me plenty of cash. This is about helping, reaching back to help the universe, help other people, because many people have helped me, and uh, I want to give back. All right, so I will see you starting on July 5th next week. I'll see you back here. Click the, uh, fill out the form below so that I can send you the link so that you can just click and watch. And... Uh, we're going to break it all down. I'm going to I'm going to completely I'm going to completely blow your mind with how easy it really is and how simple for you to live a life free from worry about money, free from money problems completely just by forming some new habits and knowing what habits to form. All right. So as always, I will see you there. It's all about living the enlightened Lux life. Live Lux or die, baby. Peace. See you.